Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to answer the question, is it too late to start mining? And then, should you mine? And what should you mine? Okay, all right. So this is the most expensive video I've made so far. And um, I actually went through the pain of getting the mining rig together and mining for three weeks. So I'm going to present to you my results and my results are current. So you can use that to make your decision. And um, if you like this content and you wanna support the channel, please, please, please subscribe and hit the like button that would make me really really happy and make me not feel too bad about all the money i spent building this rig <laughs> all right let's jump right in so the big question is is it too late to start mining let's let's take a look at something real quick so this is the price of ethereum also i'm going to tell you about some things that i would have done differently that would have saved me a lot of time so if you are interested in building a rig stick around Right now, Ethereum is at $3,296, okay? $3,296. Um, let's come down here. Um, let's say last year, last year, March 16th, Ethereum was at $114. For $114, you get one Ethereum. No miner was profitable. No miner was profitable. All the miners were at a loss. All the miners had to go deep in their pocket to be able to pay for electricity. They were selling several Ethereum just to pay one electricity bill. Um, a lot of people actually sold their gear to pay electricity bill. GPUs were, were, were cheap uh, because people were just closing up shop. And so there's that. You have to be aware that it's a very volatile journey. It's up and down. But the very few people who could see into the future went in their pocket to pay electricity and not sell their Ethereum. They held on to their Ethereum. And those who held on to their Ethereum today, okay, are, you know, being rewarded very, 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 very handsomely. Um, so you just have to have that in mind. If you're going into mining right now as a full business, if you're going to uh, GPU mining as a business, you're going to take a loan for, that's a big no. Because GPUs are overpriced. Yeah, way overpriced. In fact, it's so even it's so hard to get a hold of GPUs that it's just a ridiculous market. Miners are buying it up, you know, in, in, in very large quantities. Gamers are buying the latest GPUs and yeah, gamers do hate miners, um, but that's a whole different topic for another day. Okay, so guys, don't don't hate me. Okay, don't don't hate me. I'm just it's an experiment. Okay, <laughs> so there's so many things to consider. But if you are entering mining as a hobby, if you're entering mining as something you want to do as a hobby, then yes, it's it's a fun hobby to do. Do not go overboard, and definitely. It, you could still see profit because most uh, rigs are profitable today because cryptocurrency is on is on a bull run. It's still, we're still in the bull run. We've been in the bull run for a while. This is the only year that we went through all of March and all of April, and we're still in the bull run. For the past, you know, couple of years, this is when it usually dips. But this year, it's just I'm like, when is the big dip coming? You know, uh, but it's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Also, I'm going to tell you about some things that I would have done differently that would have saved me a lot of time. So if you are interested in building a rig, stick around and, uh, you know, you see at the end of this video. So my video, so guys, just to be clear, I'm a very new miner. I'm new in the mining space and uh, my mining rig is very ugly. So don't, don't judge me on that. Okay. But it is mining Ethereum. All right. And it's profitable. So there's that. So the very first thing I would have done differently is I would have just ordered a frame. That's all I would have done. But because I couldn't get one on, on Amazon Prime and the, the, the soonest it would have arrived would have been three weeks late, which would have been today, okay? I figured if I go to Home Depot and I get these aluminum corners, aluminum corners, okay? Um, I could easily build, uh, uh, you know, a rig and get it running the next day. So that's what I did. But I am not the best builder around. So, well, just, you know, I'm just warning you guys. Most importantly, make sure that you build it based on the size of your motherboard. Okay, don't let your motherboard be sticking out. Do not just look at someone else's measurements and then build that. And then your motherboard is sticking out. You could break it easily. 
and also uh, if you're going to do it get this okay wrist strap thing it's like seven dollars on Amazon I'm gonna put links to everything down in the description below um, and so that you don't short circuit the motherboard otherwise you kill the motherboard before you even start okay and also make sure that your CPU okay uh, your processor okay has a number that matches the number uh, the motherboard here um, I'll go over that in a second um, but at least what I'm going to link is stuff that works and it's working for me right now so all right so here I just started screwing stuff together I made sure the motherboard fit and uh, this was right in front of the garage I was just doing it outside and later on I brought it inside because I got two helpers or destroyers <laughs> and here here's here's where I made the first big mistake I didn't the height of uh, my thing I didn't take correct measurement of the height of the GPU which is a very rookie mistake and so um, I made this way too high and there was no way the GPU would be hanging in the air so I had to I had to uh, bring it down here so I fixed that later on so I, I brought it down and I, I left the wood up here just to give it a little bit more reinforcement and um, you know but this was the correct height for GPU to be to sit in so that you can screw it at the top now okay here's a picture of progress this was in the kitchen um, so here uh, you can see that you you want to make sure you are able to screw in the GPU to secure it up there make sure you drill all the holes beforehand so that metal pieces are not flying on your motherboard those metal pieces will kill your motherboard so make sure you drill all the holes before and I do have six holes okay I I wanted to get a full rig with six GPUs but that didn't happen um, GPUs are so expensive and so I only got two I got one new and then one used one I got one used 2070 super uh, Nvidia 2070 super MSI and I got a used uh, tough uh, Asus tough 1660 super so this is the 1660 super and then this is the 2070 so I got those two and boom I was I was up and running you only need the monitor one time when you are setting up after you set up you don't need a monitor you can take it away and once you set up and you have it running you can monitor your rig from the phone or from your work computer or whatever if you are using hive os hive operating system which runs on linux and i watched like one or two videos and i i figured it out so if i can figure it out you can figure it out too all right so that was it my machine was up and running i, I was just happy with the you know with, with the lights and the fan and and all that and um you know it was just a fun little project now let's talk about profit let's talk about profit okay so with my little machine instead of having six i only have two gpus um what am i getting so it's making it's making about seven a little over seven dollars a day it doesn't sound like much but it adds up uh, but in addition to making seven dollars a day it is spending one dollar fifty cents on electricity a day so you have to take that into consideration now this calculation at seven dollars a day was a calculation i made when uh ethereum was 2300 okay so today today with ethereum past 3000 it is actually making way more than seven dollars a day so that's another thing you have to take into consideration i'm going to show you something here real quick all right, so I've been mining for three weeks now, but I set it so that whenever I hit 0.05 Ethereum, I want all of it dumped into my wallet and then restart again because you don't know what will happen to Flexpool and then they'll be like, oops, you know, this, oops, that. So I just want them to keep dumping it as quickly as possible. So uh, I got my first dump uh, two weeks, two weeks after I started mining and they did send 0.05 um to my wallet at the time ethereum was about 2300 there about and it was worth 120 dollars okay 
0.05 at the time was worth around 120 something dollars. Now, um, today, I'm gonna tell you what it's worth today because Ethereum is up high today. So 0 0.05 times three, one, two, three, 3,000 uh, is ac actually, you know what, Ethereum is worth a lot more than 3,000. Let me see, what is it worth now? It's worth 3,308. So 0 0.05 times 3,300. So first two weeks, 165. So, uh, and it's been very consistent. So the next two weeks, I'm expecting another 165. So I, when I bought my rig, my entire rig cost one Ethereum. And one Ethereum at that time was about 2250 or 2300. So it would have taken me 10 months to break even, okay? To get my um, one full Ethereum. Uh, but with the progress of Ethereum price, currently it's going to take me a lot less maybe seven months to break even and who knows if ethereum keeps going up you know it will take me a lot less to break even if ethereum gets to ten thousand dollars i'll break even next month and so you just have to consider those things as well so let's look at what it's doing right now so whatever you, you see now 0 0.05 that was two weeks ago now it's been mining for close to six days uh let's see what it's it's doing is it six days let me see yeah something like that something like like that like a, a week seven days i guess so on flexpool i use flexpool to mine a, this is this video is not sponsored by flexpool i just use flexpool to mine because it's a north american miner uh, no reason it's just you know i just use flexpool and so here in flexpool you can select my theorem address and search and it will tell you exactly how you're doing how much you made and and what's good so uh now it tells you that I've, i joined three weeks ago okay i've already taken two week uh pay so now this is just one week results so in one week tomorrow will be exactly one week it's mined 94 dollars worth of ethereum okay which uh, of course, the price of Ethereum is going up high. And uh, now, once this hits 0 0.05, it's going to dump it in my wallet again. So, and then it will start all over again. And here, when you scroll down here, it tells you my, my current hash rate is 73.33, uh, average reported, and uh, you know, number of stale shares and valid shares. So, this is what you need to pay attention to. You want this percentage to be high, the, the valid shares, you want it to be high because uh, if it's not high enough, it could be that maybe you're using Wi-Fi wi or your system is not working well. If your system is working efficiently and everything is smooth, this number should be high and you have very few stale shares and possibly no invalid shares. So here, the workers, this is patient money rig one, right? It tells you my rig, the mega hashes, you know, the effective and all that. Now, um, while we are here, let's take a quick peek at Hive OS. Let's see. So, so this video, I just want to be clear, guys. This video is not a tutorial about how to set up your mind. You know, it, there's no, there's no detail in here. I'm just giving you expectations. I'm just, I'm just w working on realistic expectations for you. Okay. Uh, if you want me to make more detailed videos about this, you can, you can, you can comment below. Let me know if you want me to make more detailed videos about this, because one thing I realized is that most of the videos I've seen, people don't make it for beginners. They, they make it, uh, so complicated. They, they assume, you know, so much, but dude, the last time I built a computer, I used windows 98 to, um, you know, as my OS, so I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, so here, um, this is Hive OS, and it shows you uh, what you have working at the same time. Power consumption right now is 247. Uh, somebody on my live told me that my 2070 was clocked too high, and and that um, they were they gave, actually gave me a setting to make it much cheaper, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. I want to wait till the next dump when it dumps into my uh, wallet. Uh, then I would I would turn it off and then and then re reclock it. 
and and put it up so here when you open your rig it will show you all you have in hive os so in here you see rtx 2070 and uh, these these are my settings um you know the core memory when you are using hive you have to double the memory so that that, that, that that's how much i know about clocking so far <laughs> All right, so the power limit here, uh, 200 is apparently way too much. Uh, so I, I need to work on that. But right now it is mining and it is profitable. So I'm just gonna let it finish this cycle. Okay, and then we have the 1660 also here. All right, so the question is, is it too late to start mining? That's that's just a big question. You know, if you're going in as a, as a hobby, it's definitely not too late. Just make sure that uh, when you are going in, buy used stuff, find used GPUs. One of my GPUs, you know, uh, you know, it would have been, I. one of my GPUs, I found it for like about half the price used on eBay. And I was just fortunate enough that it worked perfectly. Okay, flawlessly. Some of the used ones, be very careful. People are selling used GPUs that they've used to mine for so many years and the GPU, you know, uh, it's not going to perform very efficiently. You have to be very careful with that. And, um, just just don't don't pay too much more than the msrp because um it will extend the time for you to be profitable and the more you extend that time the greater the probability of your machine breaking down or you know or anything happening but if you believe cryptocurrency is going to be the wave of the future then i tell you what every little bit that you mine today could be worth a fortune in the future and it's easier to accumulate by mining than actually buying because if you are you're buying every time you'll be like man i gotta buy 300 dollars more of this and it's harder to buy when the price goes up because you get less of the cryptocurrency but if it's set it up and it's mining it's just there and it's mining and you're accumulating it's going to be slow but it's going to be a sure way of accumulating so um Right now in this climate, it, GPUs are very expensive. You know, starting from scratch is hard, but just just have all that in mind. If you want to do it as a hobby, fine. Don't 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 take a loan. Don't you know? Don't break the bank to to start a, a mining farm or anything. Uh, you start slowly, learn, and then keep adding as you go. So I'm going to uh, you know add more um, GPUs to my stuff and. Uh, in and see how it goes so to decide on what to mine if your goal is profitability if you just want to make the most money uh well you can just come here and select the gpus that you have as you can see i have the 1660 super and the 2070 here and then you hit calculate uh this site is what to mine.com and then it will calculate and it will show you the most profitable so as you can see ethereum uh on ethash and then we have nice hash and then we have swap we have conceal ccx xeno and one of my favorites is now all the way down here ravencoin on kapow now not too long ago ravencoin was up here ravencoin was even more profitable than ethereum very briefly in uh february right uh but things change you know but we we have people who still believe that you know like ravencoin has much better ethics and you know uh and it's something that will survive after uh, eip 1559 which is something we can talk about another time um so uh, yes ethereum is going to be doing some updates there's eip 1559 making the mining of e ethereum questionable so those are all things you have to keep at the back of your mind and not not uh spend all your credit cards building a mining farm so here it tells you clearly that you know Ethereum is going to be your most profitable at seven dollars and seventy six cents with the gear that I have. Okay, with the same gear I could mine other stuff and and get uh, fifteen cents. Okay, or seventeen cents. So you know why would you get seventeen cents a day instead of getting seven dollars a day? Well, it depends on your preference. So this is one way to um, easily come in and, and find what to mine and, um, you know, makes the process a little bit easier. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please, 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 please subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.